Hey friends, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to share with you how you can pass a JSON into a strut automatically. Alright, so I've learned this during the week and I felt that this was one of the really pro tips that as a developer, you should know. Alright, so let me just show you our example over here. I have an API uh, endpoint over here. This is from CoinGecko. And this endpoint will return to me a list of cryptocurrency details. Okay, so let me show it to you what I mean by that. So I have my incognito window over here and let me just hit the enter button. And if you see over here, this is the JSON payload. And as you can see, this is really quite extensive. You see over here, there is, uh, let me just make this a bit bigger for you. Okay, so if you see over here, we have an array of coins. So we have Bitcoin, we have Ethereum, um, Tether, Binance coin, USD coin, and so on and so forth. Let me just open one of these objects over here. And if you notice that the uh, values are of different type, we have a string, you have a double, you have an integer. And also over here, you have an object called Sparkline in 7D and you have a price. So this basically is data for a chart. So you see, it's really quite uh, massive. So in this video, I want to share with you how you can create mocks very easily without having to, you know, uh, initialize a strut and typing in all this information. All right. So what we're going to do, oh, okay, before I proceed, I want to share with you today's sponsor of the video. And that's from me. So I have this course over here, uh, this Udemy course called uh, Financial App with Stock APIs and Unit Tests. And this course is about building a dollar cost averaging calculator for financial assets like stocks, equities, and ETF. I, I teach about combined framework over here. If you are also like myself who trade the financial markets, uh, do consider checking this out uh, because you'll learn how to pass financial data via stock APIs on Alpha Vantage and things like unit tests as well and passing complex JSON data and uh, reactive uh, programming via Combi Framework. All right, so let me just get this out of the way and let's come back to CoinGecko again. So what we want to do is to convert all this JSON into a strut easily without having to type in all of these uh, properties over here. Because if you notice, properties are in snake case, all right? And ideally in iOS, we want to have it in camera case. So how are we going to do that? All right, so I'm going to do a search for JSON to strut auto swift uh, okay this one over here so quick type.io instantly pass json in any language so click on this one over here and then uh, this uh, site allows us to convert uh, any json into swift struts okay so what i'm going to do over here is i'm going to copy everything the, the entire json object so notice that i want to include all this uh this this price inside over here as well so if you uh, if yours is not expanded, you have to expand this, okay? So I'm going to end over here because this is where the object ends. So copy over here and just paste that over here, okay? So, but before I do that, I want to, you know, just uh, use a JSON validator to ensure that everything is in order. So let me just paste that in here and hit the validate JSON button. Okay, so this is a valid JSON, so this is good. So right now on the quicktype.io site, it auto generates a strut for us over here. So I think uh, I'm going to call this uh, maybe a coin. Okay, so like that. Okay, so over here, what I want to do is to just copy the entire thing here, as well as uh, sparkline in 7D. I don't think I need this JSON now over here. Let me see. Oh, it's because this is ROI is a few that is now. Wait, let me just have a look. ROI, yeah, it's now. So maybe I'm just going to leave that out, okay? So I'm going to copy uh, all the way from coin. Oops, oh, 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 another thing to take note. Actually, over here, there are some settings that you can actually play around with it. But I usually stick to the default, which is a strut over here. Okay, so strut, coin, codable, all the way to spark line in 7D. Just copy this. And then let's get back to Xcode. And then I'm going to create a coin over here. So new file. And uh, let's call this coin. Okay, so I'm just going to paste everything over here. So coin codable. And then what it does is that it auto adds the coding keys for you. So it converts all the uh, snake case into camera case. Okay, so I don't need this JSON, uh, this, this uh, JSON now. So let me just remove this. And let me just uh, command B to build the app to ensure that it's working. Okay, okay it says build fail. Why is that? Oh, it doesn't conform to decodable protocol. Okay, let me just do it over here, decodable. And I think uh, this one has to conform to decodable as well. So decodable. 
Okay, command B again to build one more time. Build fail. Oh, why is that? Because I removed that um that that key, right? So I have to remove it from here as well. So what was it that I removed? Uh, I think it was R O I. Command B to build this time. And now build succeeded. Okay, great. So what I want to do is to come back to the view controller over here. And then I'm going to create some mock data, all right? So you can do it this way, static let uh, coin. And then, okay, maybe let me just uh, uncomment this over here. And what we need to do is to just create the JSON string. And then we make a data from the string itself uh, using the UTF-8. And then what we do is that we just uh, force unwrap this because I know that this is definitely going to work. And obviously when you run your unit test, if the passing fails, it will be caught by the compiler. So I have no issues just force unwrapping it over here. Okay, so what we want to do is to uh, come back here again. I think uh, I kind of messed it up. Let me just come back here again. So I want to just copy the entire thing one more time. Okay, I end over here and I want to come back to Xcode and just replace this string over here. So I'm going to just hit the enter button and then just paste the entire thing here. Okay, so this is how it's going to look like. A lot of this data, you, you probably don't want to type this in manually because it's going to it's gonna take you an hour to do that. So I'm going to just print out this coin to ensure that this is working. Okay, so I'm going to do that inside the view did load. So print. Um, mock data dot coin dot uh, let's call this maybe symbol all right so we will know if Bitcoin BTC is being printed out so let's just run this on this on the simulator right now so build succeeded let's see all right let's just wait for a while because uh, I have nothing inside the storyboard so the splash screen will look like the view controller yep so we see BTC over here so uh, let me just print the entire thing to show you that uh, all the properties will be uh, shown now. Will be shown. All right, guys. So this is the quick and really uh, fast way to uh, pass JSON into a strut. And I hope that uh, you find this tutorial helpful. All right. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.